Yeah, I'm back with another one. Same book, The Dawn of New York. This time I'm gonna introduce y'all to a character by the name of Benjamin Hayes. Benjamin Hayes is a high profile defense attorney. He's about to go to trial in this part of the book. Let's check this out. It's chapter 27, The Trial of the Century. <clears throat> Ethan's determination to secure his freedom led him to the gates of legal prowess embodied in one man, Benjamin Hayes. Just the mention of Hayes' name sent shockwaves through the legal community, leaving a trail of defeated opponents and triumphant clients in its wake. He was not just a defense attorney. He was an enigma, a force of nature wrapped in tailored suits and an air of invincibility. As the doors of his sleek crimson Ferrari swung open, the onlookers held their breath, anticipating the arrival of the legal titan. Every step Hayes took towards the federal courthouse in Manhattan exuded power. A potent blend of confidence and brilliance seemed to radiate from his very being. The streets themselves seemed to tremble beneath his polished shoes, as if paying homage to the legal colossus in their midst. Dressed in a bespoke suit, that seemed tailor-made to accentuate his sharp features and commanding presence, Hayes exuded an aura of untouchability. His impeccably coffee salt and pepper hair and piercing gaze mirrored the determination that burned within him. He was a walking contradiction, an embodiment of both charm and ruthlessness, capable of reducing opposing counsel to trembling wrecks with a single glance. As he approached the courthouse entrance, a hush fell over the crowd. The paparazzi, seasoned in capturing moments of fame and notoriety, knew they were about to witness something extraordinary. Camera shutters clicked, freezing moments of Hayes' grand entrance in time. Reporters, eager to catch his attention, thrust microphones forward, hungry for a morsel of his wisdom. Mr. Hayes, can you share your thoughts on this high-profile trial? A journalist ventured. Hayes paused, his eyes narrowing with a mix of calculation and mischief. The crowd leaned in, collectively holding his breath, waiting for the legal oracle to bestow his wisdom upon them. Trials like these are not battles fought solely in the courtroom, Hayes replied, his voice carrying the weight of a thousand legal victories. They are symphonies of strategy, where every note and every pause can turn the tides of fate. Today, my team and I shall orchestrate a performance that will echo through the archives of legal history. His words hung in the air, wrapping the crowd in a web of anticipation and awe. There was no doubt that Hayes was not just a defense attorney, but a maestro, a conductor guiding the fate of his clients with unparalleled precision. With measured steps, Hayes made his way into the courthouse, his presence leaving a mark on the hallowed halls of justice. Inside the courtroom, the weight of his reputation hung in the air, casting a spell on those who bore witness to his brilliance. Ethan, seated beside him, couldn't help but feel a surge of gratitude and renewed hope. With Benjamin Hayes at his side, the realm of possibility expanded before him, and the once distant dream of freedom became an attainable reality. The trial was about to begin, and the world was about to witness legal mastery orchestrated by the inimitable Benjamin Hayes. The Dawn of New York, you heard? TMJBooks.com or wherever books are sold. Grab that joint. Peace.